Yeah, we can see them. We're still good. Um, all right, so I am um, Ray, and I'm presenting on Ray. There we go. Um, so I uh, I'm from Red Deer, so not very far away, and um, I got my Bachelor of Science in Biology in uh, with an emphasis in neuroscience in 2017. And this is my parents' cat, Artemis. Um, I don't have a cat of my own, unfortunately, so it's just some pictures of her. Ray, we're uh, seeing the presenter view. Oh, you are seeing the presenter view. Okay, uh, how do I change that? Um, is that better? Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, um, so on rabies virus, so some stats on it. Uh, around There's around 60,000 human deaths a year uh, all over the world. Not so much here in Canada or the US, but um, a lot of other places in the world have that. 99% um, in the world is caused by dogs. However, in Europe, Canada, and the US, that's been virtually eradicated by uh, vaccines and um, mostly vaccines, uh, which leads to bats being the main cause of rabies here in Canada. Um, and um, once symptoms appear in rabies, it's virtually 100% fatal. Uh, so here's the stats for 2022. Uh, in Canada, uh, lots of different animals, but mostly bats. Ontario definitely has it the worst. Uh, in Alberta, there was only three caused by bats, uh, but all of these people survived. Um, the last death from rabies was in 2019, uh, rather than, and then before that, it was in 2012. Uh, so there's two different kinds of rabies. Usually we think of the furious rabies, but there's also a paralytic rabies, which is less known and also gets misdiagnosed a lot. Uh, yeah, furious rabies is the typical one. It's emotional and behavioral for the most part, and it's around 80% of cases. And then paralytic rabies slowly paralyzes the muscles from the um, infection site. Uh, it's about 20% of cases, but it, since it's misdiagnosed a lot, it's hard to say uh, what that is. And that 60,000 deaths a year could be off by a fair bit because we don't know how many are um, paralytic. Uh, so the symptoms uh, take usually about two to three months to show, but it can be anywhere from one week to one year. Uh, depending on the distance to the brain and um, the type of virus, rabies virus that it is. Some infect faster, some infect slower. Um, the vaccine needs to be taken as soon as possible, but uh, if, so long as it's taken before symptoms show, it's usually fine and the rabies is taken care of. Uh, so specifically for furious rabies, paralytic rabies is mostly just the paralysis of muscles. For furious rabies, here are the symptoms. Um, a lot of uh, behavioral and emotional things, uh, especially in the brain, hallucinations, insomnia. Hydrophobia is the interesting one. It's not technically hydrophobia. It's any liquid or fluid that they're afraid of. And then aerophobia, which is a fear of fresh air or drafts. Uh, for some reason, they are any air blowing over their skin causes a reaction. Um, so the most interesting one I've, or symptom and the commonly known one is uh, hydrophobia, also known as dysphagia, which is a trouble swallowing, uh, which is where the hydrophobia comes in. 
So it's a it's all fluids, not just water. Uh, and it, it the idea or the sight of fluids causes the throat and the larynx to contract painfully, um, which causes a panic or a flight response to the thought or the sight of the fluids. Um, and that uh, this fear of swallowing causes them to not swallow as often, which is what causes the saliva to build up, uh, which is how rabies infects other things. So uh, that's where you get the common uh, symptom of drooling, or it often confused as foaming at the mouth, but it is uh, just drooling for the most part. Uh, so the rabies virus is a bullet-shaped virus uh, like this. Uh, you've got the glycoprotein on the outer layer, which is what lets it enter cells, uh, the envelope membrane here, and then the RNA contained inside, which is what's released in order to replicate. Uh, and then there's a matrix protein down here that isn't shown. So transmission of it uh, from the bite or wound, although it can uh, it doesn't have to be a bite or wound. It can be spread from saliva to uh, if it comes across mucosa. So your mouth, your eyes, anything like that, any way it can get into your body, uh, it will from the saliva. Uh, so it accumulates in the wound and then it enters the neuron, usually the peripheral neurons. Uh, it also enters the myocytes of the muscle often enough and uh, through uh, various receptors, nicotinic acetylcholine receptors um, or tumor necrosis factor receptors. And it gets into the neuron that way. And then it travels down the axon to the soma where often replication occurs, but uh, a lot of replication doesn't occur until it reaches the spine and the brain. Uh, so it just, it continues to travel along until it reaches the central nervous system. All right, so it travels, it, it usually depending on where you're infected, if you're infected um, closer to the brain, it probably goes to the brain before the spine but often the spine will be first. Um, it doesn't do a lot in the spine that I could tell. It does cause swelling, so it's likely uh, you would start noticing something from that. Um, it does start spreading to other organs through the body from the spine, uh, but it also spreads quickly to the brain uh, through fast axonal transport. It wants to get to the brain as quickly as it can. Uh, once it's in the brain, it also starts swelling the brain. Uh, the medulla oblongata is what controls uh, swallowing and breathing and um, heart rhythm or regular heart rhythm. So it definitely first infects that and that causes the hydrophobia and aerophobia um, due to constricting of those muscles and all of that. So it starts controlling that. Um, and then it will especially affect the limbic system, which is, um, a, it controls a lot of your behavioral and your emotional, which is where you get the furious, um, angry rabies symptoms uh, that we're used to thinking of. Um, and then from the brain, it will uh, rapidly uh, replicate. And from there, it will send those to the salivary glands where it can further infect other individuals, uh, individuals or other animals uh, through saliva. Uh, so the vaccine is, uh, is effective before infection, so you can get it before infection, but here in Canada and most, probably Europe and the US, uh, you can't get it unless you actively work with animals or 
um, any other people at risk for getting rabies. Otherwise, you have to wait until you've been bit or exposed to an animal with rabies, with possible rabies. Um, and then it's four doses within two weeks. So you want to get one as soon as possible, and then three days after that, seven days, and then 14 days. Um, I When I was researching this, I found that some anti-vaxxers have actually stopped vaccinating their dogs, which will could bring rabies back to a lot of dogs in uh, Europe, Canada, and the US, which would be very bad since the majority, our cases are very few compared to 60,000, uh, and we wouldn't want to bring it back that way. Uh, there's a few stories I heard along the way there kind of fun. Uh, there's one with a hamster that got rabies. It was a classroom hamster in Saskatchewan in 2007. Uh, it's escaped into the walls of the school and there were some bats in the school. And when it when they found the hamster again, brought it back and it was exposed to some of the children even, uh, they found out it had rabies from some of the bats that were living in the school. Uh, everyone was fine though, except maybe the hamster. Um, Edgar Allan Poe likely died of rabies, um, and Emily Bronte, the author of Wuthering Heights, um, was bit by a dog and cauterized the wound, which saved her life. She didn't get rabies at all. It killed the virus off. Um, here's my references and any questions. Thanks.